Hey Banneker here with Pivot Cycles and we're going to show you how to set up your rear suspension with the Pivot Sag Indicator. First step is to dress as you would for your ride because the amount of gear you wear can change your weight. To ensure your suspension performs perfectly, we make suspension setup incredibly easy. Just follow along with this video and you'll be good to go. First, find a blue lever and move it to the open position. On Fox shocks, this is furthest away from the air valve. If your shock has a piggyback, the open position is when the blue lever is parallel with the can. Next up, check the rebound on your shock is fully open by turning it counterclockwise until it stops. You can do this leaning against the wall or a sturdy object, but the easiest way is to have a friend help you. First, get onto the bike and hold your grips as if you were riding. Then, cycle the bike a few times and then drop onto your seat. Next, slide the rubber o-ring up against the shock body and step off of the bike slowly. You need to pivot bikes is a simple sag indicator that comes pre-installed on the shock. On some pivot models, the sag indicator is actually a sticker applied on the external reservoir. Your goal is to have the o-ring line up with your selected line on the sag indicator. Add or remove air as necessary. After you change the air pressure, climb back on the bike, repeat the steps until you get the o-ring to line up with the sag indicator perfectly. For our longer travel bikes like the Max 6 and the Firebird, the usable sag range is longer and it's between the red line and the end of the sag indicator. A word of advice, don't cheat the sag. The DW-Link design pedals most efficiently at the recommended sag settings. Now you can choose the open, medium or firm setting using the blue lever on your shock. DW bikes pedal extremely well in the fully open position. Now you can set your rebound to fit your personal preference. The most common settings is 3-5 to five clicks clockwise from fully open. Great work, your sag is now set correctly on your pivot bike. I thought I was super personality in that, was that too business? <laughs> For fork setup and coil shocks, be sure to check out the great videos from Fox on their website. Don't even tell me the next line, I'm trying to remember this one. Do you have more questions about your pivot? Be sure to use the FAQs like I do when I get a new bike. Or contact us via phone, email or chat.